Hi folks, it's Tony from the Loch Erne Landscape Partnership and we're here today from the Loch Erne Schools Convention here at the Sher Discovery Village in Fermanagh. We've just had a wonderful three days working with over 600 young people which are from P5 to P7, Key Stage 2, from a range of 17 different schools in the Fermanagh area. Wonderful three days. Kids got to enjoy the wonders of Loch Urn, out paddling and enjoying the water, while they also partook in a range of activities. It was just wonderful to see them engaging and taking part. One of the big takes from it, I suppose, was, was the way the schools were mixed and they integrated and very much cross-community um, aspect of it and, and mixing the schools so they got the most out of it. But wonderful three days and proud to be part of it. I am Catherine Keeney and I work here at Chair Discovery Village. Today is the last day of our schools convention. So we've had over 600 children um, come visiting Cher. They come and they will do a canoe session on the water and then they will go to one of the facilitator sessions where they'll learn about just nature, wildlife, um, just really what's going on around us here. And they love it. They're so happy. The goal of the day is it's education for the young people. Um, I mean, there's so many, you know, devices, screen time games, but this is really bringing the kids back to nature. They're here, they're learning about fossils, they're going out on the water canoeing, they're seeing the islands. Um, and it's, it's for the young people to be all together, to meet other schools. Um, cross community is a big thing and it's very much this programme, you know, there's schools from everywhere um, around Fermanagh, so there's a cross community element as well. Holly, it's quite similar. And my name's Dara Smith, I'm from St Mary's Primary School. Today we were learning about Amadil's foot tracks and uh, we were learning what, um, what literary litter lasts the longest. My favourite thing was the Amelil trucks. It's because it was interesting to see what they look like, so I've learned a lot. I had a great time today. So we have been doing all sorts of activities. This morning we went out on the water, we were kayaking, so the children were put into groups um, and headed out and um, they got to get off and, and explore a little island um, and then came back and doing all sorts of team building exercises and confidence building and um, yeah getting themselves out on the water in nature. They're having an absolutely fantastic day it's definitely not your usual typical day at school. They really enjoyed uh, the water activities in particular um, and then the focus activities that they're doing at the moment is a really good um, mixture of, of fun and educational learning. The children are having a fantastic day and I know for sure that they would want to come back again. It takes a lot to put on a day like this. Uh, the Loch Erne Landscape Partnership um, have been heavily involved in the planning. It, this is the third year um, and each year the date needs to be set. This is a date that obviously suits the facilitators, suits Shared Discovery Village that we can have 100 people on the water for each session. And um, the schools need to be then contacted to make sure can the schools come? Is there um, are there bus facilities for the schools? Can we do catering? The, the, um, also, you've got dietary requirements are so important. So there's a lot of planning that goes on. Um, so it's just a lot about communication. And then, yeah, it's teamwork on the day, really. Plans moving forward for the schools convention. We would hope for it to run again, but this is the end um, of a three-year funding partnership. Unfortunately, Shared Discovery Village isn't in a position that we could run something like this again without any funding because there are a lot of costs, but we would love to be involved with it again. We will try hard. I know a lot of the teachers have expressed this is a wonderful programme. They're in year three of it now um, and their kids talk about it and they do bring a lot of it back to the school. So hopefully we shall work together. We will find the funding and it will become an annual event. Megalodon fossils. Megalodons are huge, big, giant sharks. What do you think? My name is Holly Cassidy and I am from St Paul's Primary School. It's really fun here and I'm very excited about what we're going to be doing next. So far the first thing I did was talking about litter and talking about different wildlife animals yes. and what they do. And then I was talking about fossils and I learned a lot of things from the fossils. I learned that sharks are older than trees and I learned that um, that octopus used to live in shells. Outside we were 
looking for fossils. And whenever we found them, we would write down what we think they would with the fossil fact sheet. I really enjoyed it and I'm really looking forward to what's going to be happening next. Before the fossils, we were sorting out how long it takes different bits of litter to decompose. A glass bottle takes forever. A glass bottle can take up to one million years and so on. I've had such a good time now and I really, I am really, really looking forward to what's going to be happening next. Best place ever. Best place ever. What was that? The best place ever. Then just enjoy yourselves. It's all going to decide probably on funding, but going by the teachers and the pupils and the activity providers, um, they want it to happen again. So whether we can make it happen is something for us to see in the future. And I think if you see in the background, the, the kids there are, are all going, see ya! Thanks a lot. So I suppose that's it. And hopefully for next year, we'll be able to run it again. <laughs>